you, uh, like I mentioned with, with SpaceX, you give a lot of people hope and a lot of people look up to you, millions of people look up to you. Uh, if we think about young people in high school, maybe in college, um, what advice would you give to them about if they wanna try to do something big in this world, they wanna really have a big positive impact, what advice would you give them about their career, maybe about life in general? Try to be useful. Um, you know, do things that are useful to your fellow human beings, to the world. It's very hard to be useful. Um, very hard. Um, you know, are, are you contributing more than you consume? You know, like, uh, like, can you cr pr try to have a positive net contribution to society? Um, I think that's the thing to aim for. You know, not not to try to be sort of a leader for just for the sake of being a leader or whatever. Um, a lot of time, people who, who the, 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 a lot of time the, pe the people you want as leaders are, are the people who don't want to be leaders. <laughs> so, um, if you can live a, a useful life, that is a good life, a life worth having lived. Um, you know, and I, like I said, I would, I would, I would encourage people to uh, use the, the mental tools of physics and apply them broadly in life. They are the best tools. When you think about education and self-education, what do you recommend? So there's the university, there's uh, self-study, there is a uh, hands-on sort of finding a company or a place or a set of people that do the thing you're passionate about and joining them as early as possible. Um, there's uh, taking a road trip across Europe for a few years and writing some poetry. Which uh, which which trajectory do you suggest? For, in terms of learning about how you can become useful, as you mentioned, how you can have the most positive impact. Well, I'd encourage people to read a lot of books. Mm. Just read, like I mean, basically try to ingest as much information as you can, uh, and try to also just develop a good general knowledge. Um, so, so you at least have like a rough lay of the land of the the knowledge landscape. Um, like, try to learn a little bit about a lot of things. Um, because you might not know what you're really interested. In. How would you know what you're really interested in if you at least aren't like doing it peripheral explore, exploration of broadly of of the knowledge landscape um and, and t you know, talk to people from different walks of life and different uh industries and professions and skills and occupations like just try you know learn as much as possible man search for meaning <laughs> Isn't the whole thing a search for meaning? Is yeah, what's the meaning of life and all, you know. But just generally, like I said, I would, I would encourage people to read broadly um, in many different subject areas. Um, and, and, and then try to find something where there's an overlap of your talents and, and what you're interested in. So people may, may, may be good at something, but, or they may have sk skill at a particular thing, but they don't like doing it. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to try to find a thing where you ha your that's a good a good uh, combination of of your of the things that you're inherently good at, but you also like doing. Um, and um, and reading is a super fast shortcut to to figure out which where are you you both good at it you like doing it and it will actually have positive impact. Well, you got to learn about things somehow. So re reading a, a, a broad range, it's just it really. Read, read it, you know. At one point when I was a kid, I, I, I read through the encyclopedia. Uh, so that was pretty helpful. Um, and uh, there were also things I didn't even know existed, a little lot, so obviously. And it's like as broad as it gets. Encyclopedias were digestible, I think, <laughs> uh, you know, whatever, 40 years ago. Um, so, um, you know, re maybe read through the, the, the condensed version of the Encyclopedia Britannica. I'd recommend that. Um, you can always like skip subjects where you, you read a few paragraphs and you, you, you know you're not interested, just jump to the next one. Uh, so read the encyclopedia or scan, sk skim through it. Um, 
And, um, but I, I, you know, I put a lot of stock and certainly have a lot of respect for someone who puts in an honest day's work uh, to do useful things. And, and just generally to have like a, not a zero sum mindset um, or, or a, like have, have more of a grow the pie mindset. Like the, if you, if you sort of say like when, when we see people like perhaps um, including some very smart people kind of t- uh, taking an attitude of uh, like, 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 like doing things that seem like morally questionable, it's often because they have at, at a base sort of axiomatic level a zero sum mindset. Right. Um, and, and they, without realizing it, they don't realize they have a, a, zero, a zero sum mindset, or, or at least they, they don't realize it consciously. Um, and so if, if you have a zero sum mindset, then the only way to get ahead is by taking things from others. Be, uh, if, if it's like, if, 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 the, if the pie is fixed, then the only way to have more pie is to take someone else's pie. But, but this is false. Like obviously the pie has grown dramatically over time, the mm-hmm. economic pie. Um, so, the rea- in reality, you can have the <laughs> so overuse this analogy. You can have a, a lot of you can have there's, there's a lot of pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pie, pie is not fixed. Yes. Um, uh, so you, you really want to make sure you don't you're not operating um, without realizing it from a zero sum mindset, where where the only way to get ahead is to take things from others. Then that's going to result in you ta- trying to take things from others, which is not not good. It's much better to work on. Uh, at, adding to the economic pie maybe you know so uh, you know cre- creating like i said cre- creating more than you consume uh doing more than you yeah um so, so that that's a big deal um i think there's like a, you know a fair number of people in in finance that uh do have a bit of a zero-sum mindset i mean it's all walks of life i've, I've seen that one of the one of the reasons uh rogan inspires me is he celebrates oh there's a lot there's not not creating a constant competition like there's a scarcity of resources and what happens when you celebrate others and you promote others the ideas of others it it uh it actually grows that pie i mean it the, every like the uh the resource be, the resources become less scarce mm-hmm. and that that applies in a lot of kinds of domains it applies in academia where a lot of people are very uh, see some funding for academic research is zero sum. It is, it is not. If you celebrate each other, if you make, if you get everybody to be excited about AI, about physics, above mathematics, I think it, there'd be more and more funding and I think everybody wins. Yeah, that applies, I think, broadly. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. 